Hey guys, so today we are filming also the 20 worst products from 20 different brands in under 20 minutes. This trend was also started by Jen Loves Reviews. I'll link her channel and her video down below as well as some of my favorite videos from this little thing or just the ones that I watch. Um, so yeah, let's hop right into the first product, which is this Flower Beauty um, Miracle Matte Translucent Finishing Powder. Uh, it is basically just an HD powder, except it is super matte. Um, also, super flashback, like not even a little flashback, like the most flashback I've ever seen from a powder in my life. Um, I've, I said this in the last video, I'm very oily and for you to take all the moisture out of my skin with just like a dozen, cause I only use that with a brush. Cause I used it to set my whole face and one time I used it to set my primer and I have to take the primer off and put sunscreen and like all that stuff back on because it dried me out like crazy. It was awful. Um, the next thing in here is from Sleek Makeup. This is their Shattered Glass Lip Topper. Um, it is the thickest. Um, like, I get that it's a lip topper, but like, it, it don't look flattering on me. This is in the shade Bad Moon 1203. They could have kept that. They could have kept that. Um, the next thing, I do still have them, but I, I, they're in a bag, I think, that holds like all my bad products. Uh, it's the ColourPop BFF, is it called the BFF Liquid Foundation and their Stick Foundation? I hate them both. <laughs> I don't think the color matches me, like, and I don't want to buy another one because I can only buy it online and it's the wrong shade and I got some new bag and then I got to get another shade. Like, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. And then I just don't like the formula either. Like I think the stick foundation breaks up on me very quickly. And then the liquid foundation, I just don't think looks good on my skin at all. So with that said, I don't, I'm just not a fan. I do like the concealer, but I think it creases on me, but like all concealers crease on me, but like that one specifically creases on me more than any other concealer I own. So yeah. And I have a backup that I gotta finish, so I'm on to my chapter. Uh, the next thing is this Capari deodorant. It don't work. Like, I'm a sweaty girl, but a lot of deodorants work for me. And this is a natural deodorant, and I got natural deodorants that work better than this. Literally, I've never smelled worse in my life than when I use this deodorant. Like, I use the Arm & Hammer natural deodorizer, same concept. But that one actually works. Um, I don't know what's wrong with this. I really don't because it's just so bad. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let, let, I don't even know what else to say about that. The next thing is the Ultra Ulta Ulta Beauty Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Sunscreen Rose Water Setting Spray. Uh, this. It's strong. I just got the Kula one. Wow. This is so much stronger than that one. I guess maybe it's because it's SPF 50. I think that one's SPF 30. But this is so strong. I wouldn't even suggest spraying it on your face. Spray it on your body. Like, she is a beast. Um, I just, I need her to relax. Uh, the next thing I have is the Warrior Palette from Juvia's Place. Um, I don't like the mats in here. Um, this is a, like, so this is kind of a warmer tone brown. Also a warmer tone brown, and the only brown that you have to deepen it up is this cool tone brown. So when you deepen it up, guess what it looks like? Gray. Um, and I have this ultra palette, and I definitely prefer those mats to these mats. I don't know what's wrong. And then also, this is the only, like, this is a lid shed, lid setting shade. Like to set your whole lid. Um, I don't like that. And then like I don't care for the shimmers. Like they're kind of all the same tone in my opinion. And I don't know. I just would prefer to use a different palette. And I, 
I don't like how this palette was carried. I definitely understand why they made the Warrior 2 all matte because if you pair them together, it would be a perfect combo. Um, I just don't think this was well thought out. I think the Warrior 2 is a better color scheme. I haven't tested the formula, so I don't know, but I just don't love this palette. Um, and also that dark brown, it always comes out green when I mix it. And I think that's because like, oh crap. This is like a yellowy orange brown and this is a more, oh no, that's, that's not even the matte. That's the shimmer, oh my God. So this is like a yellowy orange brown and then when you mix it with this, it turns green. Not my fave. Um, and I love Judy's Place Pop-It, so. That was a miss for me. Um, the next thing I have is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. This is from the Rebel Rose collection. I was looking for a deep purple dupe for uh, the Fenty Stunner Lip Paint. Um, and this is pretty similar in color, but it is so streaky when you put it on the lips. And I was like, oh, maybe I need moisturize. And the moisturize was still streaky. Like I had to wait for it to dry, put a little, tap it in. Like, I just don't like the formula. And like, with all this wet and wild controversy, it's just like, I get that it's cheaper, but like, I got a lipstick on sale for Color Rain and it's the same color and it works 10 times better. And they were the same price because the Color Rain one was on sale. So. I I just think they can do better. Um, the next, there is a mat in here. How'd it get caught in my book? Um, next thing are these milk makeup cheek sticks and I got the lip and cheek. I might start using this on my lips because I forgot this for lips and cheek. The highlighter and the blur stick. I don't believe the blur stick works. If it works for you, let me know down in the comments, but I just, I don't believe it works. Um, the highlighter stick is just not my shade, but also I don't like cream highlighters. I just don't think it works well. So there's the blush, which I mean it's an okay color. And then the highlight is right here. It's just not a great color for my skin tone. And I just feel like it doesn't deposit product over foundation, um, which is what I would use it as like a cream base for a highlighter. I never wear cream highlighters on their own. I don't know why. I just don't like the look. Um, but like I have to put it under foundation and then like it's like well it gets covered because I've tried it one time and it got covered and it's just like eh. but then the blur stick I don't think the blur stick works um the next thing I have is this Fenty Beauty shimmer stick um same deal with the milk makeup uh this one is just a better shade this is the shade cinnamon yeah um I don't think it's their best product um, and I'm glad I only have many. I'm going to try to use these more under foundation, but like, I just, I can't even see them. So like, it's like, what's the point? You know? Uh, what's next? Oh, next thing I have is this appeal eyeshadow. Like you can really not do much with this and it's not that great of an eyeshadow. Like it's super sheer and then when you build it up, you take product away unless you tap it and even then I'm still pulling product up and it's just like I don't know I don't like it it creases like crazy like I literally hold my eyes like this for like two minutes um I have to make sure it also smells weird my hand didn't smell like that until I fell yeah I don't like it. I think it could be executed way, way better. Um, especially since I've gotten some good liquid eyeshadows from BoxyCharm. Like, I would never pay $21 for that liquid eyeshadow. Um, the next thing I'm just watching real quick is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss. Um, these are kind of in the same realm as, so it's that swatch and that swatch same realm as the sleek makeup lip toppers they're just a smidge less you see opaque like this is super opaque the pink one is kind of opaque um it's literally glitter on your lips um i have uh four shades but i got a mini set i got diamond and pearl i mean if you shear them out like put them on your fingers yeah but like i like to just you know can't, can't do that with these. 
Um, so yeah, not my favorite. The next thing I don't like is this Morphe eyebrow pencil. It's very affordable, five bucks, but it doesn't last on me. Like I have really oily skin and by the end of the day, like my eyebrows are very thin. Like especially in the front, there's like no hair whatsoever. And I don't know why I never waxed my brows off. I never shaved them off. Like, I don't know what's going on, but that's just how they grow. Um, but that makes me look like I haven't groomed my eyebrows in years. And then like, it's just, it balls up. It does weird things and I don't like it. And so, yeah, I don't think it's worth your five bucks. The elf one is great. There's a cover girl one. There's an LA girl one. The Ulta one is good. So many other pencils you could buy that are affordable. Like I don't think the Morphe one is that great. Uh, the next one that I have is from Tarte. It is the Rainforest of the Sea. I believe this is volume one. Um, so this is supposed to be like an all shimmer palette, but basically, or like it's a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six shimmers and two satins, but they are all satin. Let me swatch a few. I'll swatch a satin and then the rest are the shimmer formula. Um, so you see the first one is a shimmer, the second one, or no, yeah, the second one is a matte, which is, it's a cream. I did that cream shade. Um, it's pretty gray. Then like that third one is okay. And then that fourth one is like barely there. I don't think this palette is worth the money. I think it's pretty crappy. Least favorite palette. Um, the next thing is this Dr. Grant Needles No More. I got this in my FabFitFun. My big issue with it is that it goes liquid all the time. It's supposed to be like a creamy thing i don't know how to describe it like it's supposed to be a creamy pat it under your eyes and it makes your eyes brighter and like the bags kind of disappear um but when it turns liquid um and you put it on because i thought no it's just liquidy like when i say liquidy i imagine having soft serve melt so you know soft serve you can play with and like eat but then when it melts, you don't really want it anymore. Unless you like melted ice cream. Um, but when it when this turns to liquid, and like I don't know why my shower is not that hot, and I always have the fan on, so like it's not humid in there. And like even overnight, because like I don't use this at night because it's for the morning. It liquefies. I don't know why it liquefies. Um, and if you put liquefied stuff on it, it pills. Even if, cause I do this as the last step, even after my moisturizer. Um, cause it says you can do it before or after and you can layer it. But like if you layer it, it pills. Like it just causes issues and I don't have time for it. Um, for something to be tested on animals and to still do things like this. Like if you're gonna test on animals, your product needs to be phenomenal. Um, because I just kind of see it pointless to test on animals for a product that is gonna have so many issues like just don't test on animals and get your product right you know save that money do in vivo testing do something right with your world like i i want this fixed because i think it's a great product so if anybody knows any dupes for this or like something similar um because i've tried the sunday riley one it doesn't work as well as this um, but this also doesn't work as well as this. I think I have half the bottle left and it, like, I tried to use it this morning and like, it was liquid. I'm like, I'm like, oh man, I just need to like mix it. It still came out liquid. I don't know. Not my fave. Uh, the next one is this Maybelline X Puma. Uh, this is their Super Stay Matte Ink. Now, this is strange. Um, so one of the color is not this gorgeous purple. It's pretty grayish when you put it on the lips. I'm not going to put it on now because I don't want to have to try to remove it from my lips. Um, but like, so their regular formula is sticky for about 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, it is matte all day. Like, I promise you. Unless, was it matte? I don't think, I don't think this lasted on me actually. The regular, 
not the Puma one. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't last through lunch, but I had a very greasy lunch. So maybe if I didn't have a greasy lunch, would it last it? I don't know. We'll see if I try again. My issue is this one. I don't know if they changed the formula because my friend got the color that I got in the regular, which is 50 Voyager. Um, and she's like, it's not as dark on me as it is on you. Um, so I don't know if they changed the formula recently after they did this collab and they just reformulated their original product because this stays sticky all the time I'm wearing it except on my hand like on my hand it dries matte it doesn't come off but on my lips it literally stays sticky all freaking day and I don't know why um I don't know if they changed the formula or what but um next thing I have on here is the yeah, I did everything else oh the Deborah Lipman nail polish so I got this I traded with a lady um for the Colourpop Misunderstood and this little wakey wakey stick um the post office lost the contents of my package and still delivered the empty carton because I guess they have to deliver it they're like even if um like the postage got ripped off your package they would still have to deliver that postage to your address which i think is so stupid but um not the point so i traded she's like oh, i'll send you a different product so um she sent me the deborah Lipman nail polish and something else i can't even remember because like it was like i traded for good stuff and then like i got crap back um but the deborah Lipman nail polish like it'll chip if you breathe too hard like literally i helped my dad change my brakes and like i'll do a close-up to show you like how much chippage happened um but it's barely anything and this is opi with sally hansen uh quick dry top coat not the red one that i had in my best video but it, this one is still like good i think it's a couple dollars cheaper too but my nails barely chipped and i changed drum brakes which i didn't even know were a thing um and it did not chip but i bet you if i had deborah lipman it would have chipped before i even started working on the drum brakes like bruh i don't know why sorry i don't know why her polish is so bad but like i've done it multiple times with multiple different like maybe i need a different base coat maybe i need a different top coat it is freaking trash i do not recommend her lips not lipsticks nail polishes it was like a boxy lux thing that the lady got and like I don't know if her lip, her nail polish are just bad boxy lux but I won't try anything from her from Sephora like she has lost a customer. <laughs> um, the last thing I have a little cheat as well is the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette and their Marble Stone palette. Marble Collection Warm Stone. <sighs> the mattes on here are just bad. Um, The shimmers don't shim and the mattes are bad. Like BH Cosmetics can make a brown shadow. So I don't know what happened with this, but I don't even know what happened to mine. Like, But I got this for free. I definitely wouldn't pay. It's on sale for $6 all the time. It's normally $12. I wouldn't pay $12 for this. This is so crappy. And this one, the mattes are good, but like the color story is just awful. Um... And like the shimmers, they shim, but like, they don't blow me away. I just kind of wish it was better. I'm so glad I got this palette on sale because if I paid full price for it, I'd be very pissed. But I don't buy anything from BH Cosmetics on full price, so let's just be honest. And then my last thing is not a makeup product or anything. It's a movie. And this is Hurricane Heist. I was like thinking of like, what can be my 20th product? I couldn't remember anything at the time. And I was like, you know what? Let me do a movie. Because this movie was so freaking bad. I actually logged out of my Netflix account because I didn't want to watch Netflix for the rest of the night. That's how bad that movie was. It pissed me off so much. Did I say it was Hurricane Heist? It's Hurricane Heist. Like, I can't believe they let that be a movie. For one, I thought it was a movie with Ice Cube's son. I can't remember what movie he was in, but I was like, this is bad. Oh my God, I can't. 
I can't. I hated that movie. It was so bad. The accents were weird. The concept was dumb. It was like you could tell what was coming a mile away. I don't even think they tried on that movie. Those were my 20 products in under 20 minutes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, like always, I look great, you look great, we all look great, and I hope you have a great day.